you met someone new. How's this a bad thing? I would still listen to every record that ever existed. Um, Lucy, Justin, pleasure to talk to you. And Lucy, by the way, I feel like I always talk to you for music projects, so, which is nice because I love music. Uh, I've got to say, this is a really, really lovely performance from you. It's, it's heartbreaking. It's, it's, there's a lot here. Uh, how, how, how deeply do you go into the, the grief and the, and the regret that this, this poor character goes through? Pretty deeply. Uh, I think, uh, it's like why I love this job. It's getting to experience the full spectrum and depth of emotion uh, without having it be so close to the flame as to be your life, which sounds kind of toxic and voyeuristic, but I think it's just the ultimate catharsis. I think you can't help but project your own self and experience onto um, certain characters, and especially when you're dealing with topics like love and grief. Um, but I think with this one, yeah, it, it was kind of the appeal to it in a way, I think as an actor, knowing that you were gonna go so far and so deep into these feelings and looking back on filming, like I realized I was like really head underwater in it all. And it felt like a very fulfilling experience because of that. And I think I can then watch the film knowing that I was like as close to the flame as possible. So there's nothing really um, that I could have done differently at the time. Well, well it's, yeah, you did fantastic. And Thank Justin, you. same with you. This is just a great performance from you. Thank How you easy so was it for you to kind of connect and, and go into her story, yet also making this really a, a, just a beautiful character on its own? Um, you know, I mean, Lucy's so talented. It's very easy. It's honestly so easy to work with her. And... Uh, it was nice because we got some rehearsal beforehand, so we got to know each other, talk at length about the script, about our characters. And uh, we were also fortunate enough to sort of film a bit sequentially. So as we got to know each other as people, it was kind of mirroring David and Harriet getting to know each other as well. Um, so it was just, yeah, I, I can't speak highly enough of Lucy and, and Ned, our amazing director, who who sort of really trusted us and 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 continue to push us to trust ourselves. Mm. Well, I feel like music, I mean, I, I, my own self, you know, music plays an important part in my memories, whether it's grief, whatever, whatever what have you. Do you guys have that connection to music? Do you guys have that, oh yeah, gosh, I remember when that happened, I heard this song. Uh, we'll start with, uh, I'll start with you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, 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 you're, you're, you're pointing in the right way. You're pointing in the right way. <laughs> um, absolutely. I think music is so powerful and, and uh, amazing in that way. I think there are definitely songs that I'll stumble upon in a coffee shop, at a restaurant, at the mall, that immediately take me back to a time in my life when I heard that song in a very meaningful way or is tied to a very meaningful memory. And the fact that this film sort of does that literally uh, when I think most of us experience it in a sort of symbolic way, I think is the beauty of this film. Mm. Yeah, it was something that really appealed to me in the script right from the get-go, realizing that like how much nostalgia tethers me to my playlists and like how, I, how much I use music to go back to those places and tether me to people. Um, and so I think, I didn't realize I think how, uh, I don't know, possibly like dangerous that can be as well. I think I, I've always been so fine with being such a nostalgic person. And since doing this film, I think I'm much more um, thoughtful about the way I use music and I can totally dip into those songs, but I don't need to be like drowning in them, drowning in the past. I think that's a great point. Unfortunately, we got to wrap, but honestly, just, just a beautiful film and both of you, terrific job. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you. No problem. Have a good day, guys. You, you too. too. Maybe it's time to start living in the present tense again. I used to listen to this album over and over. And I love how music can do that. What? Pull you back to some moment in time. 
Austin, how are you, man? I am very good. How are you? Well, I'm very good because I, here's the thing, man. I love music. Music has always been my jam. And I, I you know, this movie is absolutely lovely. And you come from, you're a musician yourself. You come from, your your family history has so much music. What yeah. was it like stepping into this character and, and bringing that element to it? You know, it was very natural. I felt like as soon as I got this script, as soon as I found out what the themes were and that music was so integral to the, to the theme of what Harriet, uh, Lucy Boynton's character was going through, I just knew that it was gonna be a perfect fit. Um, you know, like she's going through a grievous moment after being in a tragic accident with her boyfriend, um, played by David Cornsweet, and she is literally taken back in time to places that uh, she's discovered songs with her boyfriend, and it's crazy because that really does happen. If I, I mean, my father, my father is a pastor. And he would listen to the same, when I say the same album, the same album for like the first 10 years of my life. And you know, it was so easy back then, we had CDs, we had floppy disks, you know, things were a little different to where now new music is always being pushed in your face. But I think back when the mediums were so tangible, you could have an album on spin and maybe you wouldn't need to find new music until you really were like, you know, inspired to go out and look. Um, but those, the Winans and Fred Hammond and Men of Standard and Take Six and Babby Mason and I mean, so many of those people, Ty Tribbett, Kirk Franklin, so many of those people, they take me all the way back in time. I'm literally getting driven to school just thinking about those songs. So it's just great to be a part of a movie that depicts that phenomenon. Well, which album did he listen to, though? Which album did I listen yeah, which to? Which was the one that just got played and played again? Ooh, I would say, from a gospel standpoint, from talking about coming up, Fight yeah. of My Life, Fight of My Life, Kirk Franklin album was like, that was the one that got me. He's always been on the, the cutting edge of like the new generation, but that got me. I was like 11, 12 years old, and, and that just took me, and I still listen to it this day. Right now, I feel like what's gonna narrate this it, this like area of my life are the Beyonce albums that have been coming out. Renaissance, Cowboy Carter, um, and even like the SZA album, the SZA Control album, that was like my college experience. Like there's, I, I'm a body of work guy. Like I love albums. I feel like a lot of people listen to singles now and yeah. I think I'm a body of work person. Like I like to listen to artists, whole albums, the 2020, oh my gosh, how could I have forgotten that? The 2020 experience, Justin Timberlake, that was a huge part of my high school experience. Um, it takes me right back. So, yeah. That's that's kind of amazing, first of all. And, and I just think it's cool that you got to kind of mix your loves of your terrific actor, but you're also bringing this love of music into it. And working with this cast, what was, I mean, you have such a great connection with the with her. What was that like? Yeah, um, it was great. I mean, they are icons. They are master classes to be around. I was so fortunate to glean um, just the set etiquette that they have and the the masterful class, the class that they exude on set while they're doing their thing is just incredible to, to, to witness. And I've been fortunate to be a part of a lot of projects that have leveled me up in terms of, you know, I am not really one to do acting classes and those things. Most of my experience after high school was just working and being around people that just had it and learning from people. And I'm so glad that I got to be um, a collaborator with Lucy Boynton and David Cornsweet and Justin H. Men. And I mean, they're even better people than they are incredible actors. And I am just, it's a joy to work with them. Well, dude, it was an absolute pleasure. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you for having me.
Yeah, see you at the next one, buddy. <laughs> yeah, see you at the next one.